my name is Caitlin. I'm a third year government major and business minor from the small town of Canyon Lake, Texas. So I arrived for my aunt, uh, but when I was in middle school, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. And honestly, I really didn't know what that meant. I was still in the life is all about me aspect of, um, you know, your middle school years. And it was one of those times where I didn't realize the impact that it had on my family just a couple years before we had lost my grandpa and that tore my family and that tore my grandmother apart. Um, it wasn't until, let's fast forward to my freshman year in, in college, that I really realized what the um, impact of cancer can be for a family. Um, over the course of my freshman year, I had my grandfather and my uncle on my father's side of the family pass away from uh, different cancers, but whenever I went home for Christmas break, I was not greeted with everybody at my um, own home in Canyon Lake um, and instead of going home we went down to the valley to go visit my aunt um, because little did I know that she um, had the possibility of having breast cancer again and my mom didn't want to tell me because she knew I had finals coming up and she knew I had a million and one things to do so I was a little bit blindsided and whenever we went down um, to go visit her we were sitting there in the doctor's office, New Year's Eve, um, so, sorry, Christmas Eve, and we were waiting in the uh, waiting room for her biopsy results. And it wasn't until then that I quite understood the impact of what cancer had. Um, it was that every time she went into the doctor, she had the possibility of um, being told she had cancer again. Uh, luckily, we got the all clear and she was good to go, but it really took sitting there in that room for me to realize uh, that it's a never-ending battle for her and that I wish I would have been there for her when I was back in middle school And I wish I would have been there for my family a little bit more and that's why I ride So I'm most looking forward to having the past 18 months being culminated into a 70-day journey that I'm getting to spend with my teammates and with the people who have helped me grow over the past 18 months I'm most looking forward to the fact that we'll be able to interact with so many different people from various places across the United States and that we'll be able to spread knowledge. Um, that's the pillar that I identify most with and it's something that I'm really interested in doing just because I remember sitting in the waiting room with my aunt and we were in the valley which is in South Texas and seeing the inequality and seeing that some people in that room might have not known about going in for your yearly um, checkups and how much of an impact that that can make. So I'm so excited to be able to spread knowledge across the United States um, and that's really what I'm looking forward to most. Texas 4000 is the most unique organization that I've ever been a part of. Um, it's bringing together 85 unique individuals from various backgrounds and we're united by one common goal and that's fighting cancer. They're some of the most driven, and most passionate people that I've ever known um, and they're also there for me whenever I need them in pretty much any aspect that I could have possibly imagined. They push me beyond my limits, they've been there for me when everything seemed like it would be way too difficult to overcome, um, but they were there to push me. Um, they pushed me physically, mentally, emotionally, they've helped me heal um, and I know these are some, going to be some of the people that I'm friends with um, for the rest of my life. So it's such an honor and a privilege to be a part of such a remarkable organization and be surrounded by such remarkable individuals.